So I had to remove a bracket from this wall and the whole thing came out leaving a big hole and I'm gonna spackle this. But this is what I did first. I got a piece of newspaper. See how big the hole is? Would be hard to spackle that even if you're gonna be using this tape. So what I did was I got a piece of newspaper and I stuffed it in the hole and the next thing I'm gonna do is just to pull some spackle over the hole where the newspaper is and you can see how already you can see how the paper is helping and uh, what I'm gonna do next is to get a piece of this tape so you get a piece of the this mesh tape and you use it make it just big enough to cover the the hole and you put it on so the first thing you I did was to put the newspaper in the hole then spackle a little uh, and then I got the mesh tape put over the hole and the spackle that's already there will hold it in place and then all I'm gonna do is to get my spackle and I'm gonna put some more spackle over the area where I have put put the the tape it's under a shelf so it's a bit awkward working under here but you can see what I'm doing here and eventually I'm gonna spackle over the hole and this pink spackle will turn white when it's dry I think what I'm gonna have to do after this is I'll sand it down a bit when it's dry and then I'll put another coat of spackle so on. So as you can see, the spackle is now dry. It has turned from pink to white and I have given it a light sanding and if you look closely, you'll see the mesh tape still showing through a little. So I'm going to spackle it just a little more and when that spackle is dry, then I'm going to sand it again and finish Here it, it is, off. the finished project. I have stuffed the hole with the paper, spackled tape, spackled, sanded, spackled and sanded again and now I have painted the area and it came out pretty good. So that's just a little tip I wanted to share with you. Until next time, see you. Thanks for checking in again.